All right, everyone, welcome back to Space Engineer tutorial series. Uh, this time on the second planetary tutorial, we're going to be doing mining planets and ships. Ship something, so I can't read out what it is. In this tutorial, you will learn how to identify surface ore deposits, use atmospheric mining ships, and be tasked with recovering a crashed vessel using a tug ship. All right, let's get going. All right, everyone. Welcome to the second tutorial. There's some nice giant glass houses here. Alright, the grass here is normal, number one. Number two, the grass here is darker. This indicates the, that ore deposits can be found below the surface. So, one, we got regular color grass, and you got dark color grass. Nice. Confirm the presence of ore deposits by turning on the ore detector. Press number four. Confirming presence. Oh, I turned it on. Hey, there it is. Oh, yeah, I have to have my uh, HUD up. Iron, silicon, nickel. Awesome. Nice atmospheric mining ship up there. Alright, press button 1 to extend the piston, then enter the cockpit of the mining ship by pressing T. Sweet. Because it's supposed to sit in the thing while we went. Okay, let's get in the cockpit. Alright, press 1 to select drills. Then hold left mouse to use drills, or right mouse to drill a whole bunch. Uh, press P to lock, unlock, landing gears, connectors. The ship connector is on its underside. Press V to switch view so you can line up connectors. Nice. Alright, so let's uh, unlock. Deliver ore here. Hmm, I wonder if it matters what kind of ore. Cool. Flying around. Maybe it means right here. Yeah, you can see the iron kind of right there. Now this should be able to hold itself up, upside down. There you go. That's what you gotta have as a good mining ship. In the atmosphere, anyway. So we got nickel, silicon right there. That should be enough. Alright. Bring it on in. Deliver or here. Use the connector. All right, so there we go. Line it up. Nice. Now locked. And I'll go ahead and get out. Look at that door open. Sweet. Alright, cockpits are a sealed environment and need to be supplied with oxygen. The simplest way to do this on a planet with oxygen in its atmosphere is to add an air vent that is conveyor connected to the cockpit. Once built, an air vent needs to be set to depressurize, which means it will suck in oxygen from the atmosphere to supply the cockpit. 
Press button 1 on the panel below to switch the air vents on this small ship to depressurize. Vent lights switch to a blue color to indicate they are depressurizing. Watch right there in the air vents, that's what it wants to see. Well, they didn't turn blue, but I guess it did what it was supposed to do. The door opened. Oh, that's cool. It's like a giant mech thing. <laughs> flying mech. Sometimes you may lose control of a ship and be unable to recover it by flying. For this reason, it is a good practice to have a tug ship that can pick up other grids and move them around. Enter the ship in front of this text and use it to recover the crashed drill ship in the nearby pit. Use your landing gear to lock onto the drill ship and place it on the platform in the corner that bears a large red X. The arrow down there, probably. Oh, there's the platform. Crash ship. Alright, let's do this. That's cool. Just with the big legs, kind of looks like a like a mech thing, a robot. But it's just a tug ship, a large ship that can pick up other ones. It's pretty cool. With lots of large thrusters, or I guess those are small large ship thrusters, so it can pick up uh, things pretty easily. Seven right here. Crashed drill ship. Alright, let's go. Down. So they light up. There we go. And what is it on? Number one. Ah, oh, nuts. And there we go. Picked it up. I'm just going to come over here and drop it. Oh, don't crash it. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, now it's like way heavier. Which makes sense. That's all we got had to do is bring it over here. And it looks like we're done. The door is open. Success! See, we just let's bring the whole thing in here, the whole little tug. Boom! All done. Tutorial success. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. And we'll move on to the next episode, or next set in the tutorial series, number three. That's what they got in store for us. See you guys next time.